What's up guys, Ryan here from Mud Gunner, and today's video is a little bit different. I'm here with my girlfriend Gabrielle. We just got done hiking four miles here at South Mountain in Arizona, and I figured I'd just bring you guys along with for this. Uh, we're trying to be active, and we just got done. It's like 9.15, and uh, yeah, it makes it kind of hard to also record a YouTube video when I get home. So I just brought you along on this hike, and we're kind of talking about what I carry and just kind of my thought process behind it. And I do think that gun people should also be fit because if you can only shoot but you can't move or you know do anything physical i think it kind of limits your capabilities so i think staying active is very important um, i know there's a lot of young guys that watch this channel but even some of the older people that watch this channel if you're in your 40s 50s 60s doesn't matter um, you could be physically fit at any age when i go and do marathons people in their 70s smoke me they are so fast it's crazy uh, my uncle he's 45 46 and he still has an eight pack i've never had that so I do think you can be physically fit even when you're older. So yeah, enjoy the video. I talk about it in the video, but my carry gun for this is my Ruger LCP2. It's a little 380 and it's perfect for this. And then I'm also carrying a half face blades cardiac spike because it gets it gets out pretty quick and I could defend myself against whatever. So um, luckily we didn't need that tonight and hopefully we never need it, but it's always good to just be prepared. We also carry medical, so yes. Enjoy the video and thank you guys for watching. I'm letting Gabrielle get a little bit ahead. We have a great view here. We're in South Mountain and it's pretty dark. I mean, you can see her with the light. It's it's pretty dark outside. So, but what I'm gonna show you guys is I can actually move pretty quickly, just letting my eyes adjust to the natural night. And I have some natural night vision. And I think everyone can tap into this if you uh, focus on it. Like I'm still watching my step. She's taking a picture now. Still watching my step, but I can see pretty good, even though it's dark, and I can control my breathing and talk and run. Right, babe? Hold on, Eddie. I'm, I'm trying to take a video. Well, I'm trying to take a video for YouTubers. If it didn't happen on Instagram, it didn't happen. Oh I guess my God, it's so beautiful. I guess I'm saying the same for YouTube, but... Yeah, so I think you should challenge yourself. One, do hikes. Oh Always do hard things, because if you let yourself get comfortable, then stuff like this gets hard to do. And then I like to just challenge myself. So I'm doing this with no water, no light. I have light and I have water in case of an emergency, but I don't need it. Daddy, this is so... <laughs> Take the girlfriend on cool dates. And uh, yeah, she's training for the Havilene 100K which is 62 miles. We're doing that in October. I've done it three times. She attempted it once. She got 31 miles in though for a first timer and she did great. But this year she's gonna finish it and I'm just trying to help her. So we're doing hard things and I'm just trying to help teach her mindset that, you know, hard things are good. And this is a beautiful view. And there's a lot of elevation gain on this hike. So going up was a lot more. Now we're going mostly downhill. She's sliding but I'm gonna let her get a little bit ahead and then I'm gonna show you guys that we can move even when it's dark out and I can do this with a camera in my hand and I can talk. But the point I'm trying to prove is that you can do hard things. You just gotta push yourself. So I'm moving a little fast. I'm gonna catch up to her now because she's down there and I'm gonna talk to you guys while I do it because yes, that's, that's it. All right, go, go, go. I see you. Come on, what if I was, what if I was a bear? What if I was a bear, I would catch you. And we caught her. We just found a Western man gecko, but I'm really hoping we find a snake so I can show you guys that snakes are not evil. I'm not worried about stepping on a snake because she's in front of me looking for them. And even if I'm moving fast, I can still kind of see them. But even if worst case scenario, I stepped on one while moving fast, I'm moving, so by the time it does anything, I'm going to be going. But there's no reason to kill snakes, just so you guys know. They're not out here to hurt you. Oh, we just hit three miles, only a mile to go. They're not out here to hurt you. They are just here to eat and live their lives. So don't kill snakes. It does not make you any more of a man. It actually makes you less of a man. If you're hunting it and eating it, that's one thing. But just killing it because it scares you, that's the same as people trying to ban guns because it scares them. It's a lack of education. And I'm here to give you that education. So it's 8.39, we're about 3.17 miles in, and yeah, we're getting closer to the city, so it's a little bit brighter here, but she's doing good, and again, just do hard things, and this is a lot of fun, 
and it's a good way to test your gear. Like I'm carrying an LCP2 right now. I'm carrying a uh, half face blades. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Oh yeah, she's got a karambit on and she's got her six hour rose. So check it out. I can't even see, it's too bright. Shine your light down. So she's got a rose fanny pack. She's got a Spyderco karambit. Pull out the karambit. Oh yeah, you don't have to point your gun, but just pull out your knife. I'm scared. <laughs> I am a dry dude. All right, go for it. You think it'll cut me? Nope. Okay, you're taking too long. I'm done. See? Nothing to be scared of. I know. Of. It's just, okay, guys, I know why, I know you're probably thinking, why the fuck are you carrying this if you're afraid to pull it out? And through the right circumstances, <laughs> I would pull this out, but I mainly, I really, I just, I don't know. I figured if I really needed it, because I don't think I'll pull this out if somebody was trying to attack me. I think I'll just go for my gun. I just kind of carry a knife for, like, other reasons. That's okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. She's got a knife and a gun on. And under the right circumstances, like, imagine someone's, you know pretty close to you, i dirt just trail. fucking pull it out. I'm not going to be scared that. Here, but... show mine. It's still recording. Okay. All right. So, I got my outfit. I'm very unassuming. <laughs> you, you don't think I'd be carrying a gun, but <laughs> boom. LCP2, and then we got my half base blades. It's a cardiac spike. That's what it was. I was trying to think of the name. But cardiac spike, and it just goes right here. So, very unassuming. I'm wearing a Spartan Race shirt. Um, yeah, that is very interesting. I left my flashlight at home. Normally, I carry a flashlight in here, um, but what I have is my spare mag for my LCP2. So six rounds plus one, and then in the bag we have water. I have my headlamp. I have a IFAC or like a mini one. It's called the IPOC, but it's got tourniquet, gauze. Um, not running a headlamp because I just like using my natural eyes, and she has the headlamp ahead of us, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, again, very unassuming LCP2 cardiac spike. And what's nice about this is it's pretty, oh, I fucked up. What's nice about this is it's pretty fast to get out for the most part. And then I also have a bench right here. So this is much slower to draw and that's why I have that there. But yep, just, it's fun to do active things and still have your gun stuff because that's the point of being able to carry. And then people ask me what my Garmin is. It's a Garmin Instinct. I just think it's the first instinct. It was a gift from my friend Lisa from a few years ago. So thank you, Lisa, if you ever watch this. But it works really well, it tracks our distance and our time. Heart rate is 99, which isn't bad. And it's probably like 90 something degrees out here. When we got started, it was just over 100, maybe 80 degrees. I can check on maps or I can check on the weather. So the weather says it's 93 degrees here and an excessive heat warning. But as someone that's pretty accustomed to this, I've lived in Arizona for just over 20 years. Um, you can get used to any bad weather. And I assume people in the cold say this too. Like you get used to it. Like I don't need any water right now. I basically feel like a camel. I can go, I normally can go 10 to 15 miles without water. Obviously if the sun's out, I'm gonna want water. But right now I feel fine. I do have water back at the car too. But, and I took a drink before we started this. But why am I posting this on a gun channel? Well, if you are not fit enough to carry your guns and move with your guns and just do normal tough things, then it'll make it very hard if anything bad ever happens. So this is just to give you guys something different. And I still think it's gun related and I need daily content. So again, this is a little bit different, but um, this is practice for her because she's doing the same thing I'm doing right now, but with her Sig Rose and she's got that Spyderco Karahawk on her. And yeah, I mean, you see, this you is pretty hilly. Used to this extra weight, it was really hard to carry it for the 10 miles that I did. Oh yeah, so she did. I just want to get like, myself used to it when I go and do parts. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys could hear her. I don't have my mics with me. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but um, she says she wants to get used to the weight. And obviously just having even just a pound in front can make it odd to run with. Yeah. Um, but she did 10 miles on Sunday and she had her uh, Sig Rose the whole time. And she said it was kind of weighing her down a little bit, but... Um, this is just practice and then eventually she could try something else and see if it works a little better but the only way you know if something works is by actually trying it my next thing i want to get is that um one thing that goes across right here oh, and learn how to carry like yeah that. like a like a chest like chest a chest carry? rig yeah, yeah chest carry i think that'd be pretty good um i still would like her to be low vis um especially out running i know some oh, girls don't care big t-shirt over yeah that's true um and like just learn how to pull it out like that 
Um, I saw someone run without a t-shirt and that was cool, but I would like to get a t-shirt yeah. over it. I'd like her to be under the radar, especially when you get to the parking lot. Um, I just don't want her to be, I mean, I, she's probably less of a target with a gun strapped to her chest for people to see, but I just want to be as low assuming or low visible as possible. And you guys saw my outfit. My shorts look horrendous. The only reason why I'm wearing these ugly tiger stripe shorts is because they were on sale. <laughs> That's the only reason why I got them. Like, I don't care. Yeah, um, she likes them and that's all that matters. But I don't care how I look, especially if I'm working out, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm functional and as long as I can carry, we are good. Find me a snake. I want to show these guys the snake. You have the light. Wait, they squeak though. And if you touch the tail, it'll fall. All right, guys. So this is a Western banded gecko. Let me get it. Here, can you record? Just yeah. keep the light on there. Let me get it. Yeah, they're very gent they're very fragile. You can tear their skin extremely easily, so you gotta be gentle. This one is a little female. Oh, how cute. You guys didn't know. I also know a lot about reptiles, especially Arizona reptiles. Oh, she keeps jumping. Yeah. I'm trying not to She's pinch. Right there. Yeah. I'm trying not to Maybe pinch just her. Grab her. I know. But you gotta be careful because if you're too hard, you'll drop their tail. But the males have a little line that sticks out on each side. So this is a female. And she's not full grown. She's probably about a year and a half old she's regrown her tail once so far you could tell because her tail was broken at one point but yeah sorry my hands are sweaty but yeah this is a western mini gecko they make Can great I pick her up? um you just gotta be gentle because yeah their skin can tear if you pinch the tail it will 100 percent fall off it will regrow but they rely on those for the shortage months when food is scarce like winter hey, baby Oh, she's so nice. Yeah, they make great pets. I, I grew she's up... She's so nice. I grew up catching these things, and I would always keep them as pets. I had a whole 20-gallon tank with, like, 15 of them, and they always Aww, had babies. She's so nice. They lay two eggs at a time. Sorry, guys, I'm nerding out, but Western Manic Geckos are super cool. She's so nice. Yeah. If you ever she doesn't want... even care. No. If you ever want one as a pet, we can. I can set up a cage for can you. Can I have this one? Uh, I don't have a cage set up right now, and okay. we don't have anything to take her home in, but she's they're very so common. Nice. Look at that. Look at that face. Cute. So yeah, she's super chill. But they make really good pets. Leopard geckos make great pets too. She right, to I'm gonna let her go. There she goes. She blends in really well. Come on. Get on out of here. She doesn't even want to go. She's like, <laughs> all right, bye. Here. <laughs> so this is an Arizona sun spider. It's a pretty small one. It's like our version of a camel spider. They are extremely fast and they are actually aggressive. Like these things, they don't jump high, but they could jump like half an inch off the ground at you. Um, let me see. I'm gonna just poke his butt, but... Oh, he's trying to bite you. No, he's just moving, but yeah, they are the one of the few bugs that will actually lunge at you just because you're near them. It's crazy. All right, guys. She's trying to beat me to the car. <laughs> oh, thanks for putting your big old handprints on there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of a little bit different than what we normally post, but... I still think fitness is important along with guns and everything else and I want to hopefully inspire some people to you know be active if you've ever were active before it doesn't mean you can't start up again and just because you did it 10 years ago does not mean that's who you are today so I think it's good to continually be active and to continually push yourself and do hard things so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video